Hey, good morning, everyone. How are you? Hey, Dave, Julie, Fred, Miriam, Ryan, Carol, Vin, Chaz, JW, Joe. Good morning, everybody. How we doing? Hey, it certainly looks like we're getting a little shake and bake here this morning. Um, a little bit of shake and bake. We, we're, we're in this area right now that I probably fear the most in the market, and that's when there is a... Sorry, I should have had this done. There we go. When there is uh, the possibility uh, of a rollover and a possibility of a breakout. We're kind of in that, that area right there. And um, that's, that's uh, I don't like that uh, as a trader. I, 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 it, it's hard to trade. Uh, I, I, well, I can prove it with my account that I, when I try to force trades through here, uh, this type of area, that's when I, I lose the most money. So might be one of those sit back and relax days. Besides, we have uh, Mr. Fed talking uh, this afternoon. So probably wise as a trader to make a good business decision. And uh, let's just see how the market reacts to that. So it might be a good day to go fishing. Uh, grocery shopping, I don't know, dentist, pay your taxes, whatever you need to do here. Uh, today might be a good day for that. Outside of that, overall, the SPY is still very much bullish. The trend is still up. Um, my What I call my trend, okay? Uh, it's what I use for my trading, and it's these green dots and these little red dots here at the same time. And right now we're good and green, we're rising. The T-line is above uh, those dots. The price is still above the T-line. Price gets below the T-line, I'm gonna get a little nervous. Uh, but right now we're still uh, on the bullish side. Q's, Q's, Q's kind of give question, don't they? I mean, they, they don't look too great here. Uh, they don't. But they're, they've not broken down yet completely, so that puts the cues in a bad spot, I think, for trading uh, and any, anything attached to the cues. FNGU is a chart I use probably more than the cues, and this is definitely getting controlled by the sellers. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, based on... Um, Based on using the Trendicator trend, uh, price is now below the Trendicator. Um, the T-line, we get just a little bit of move down, the T-line's gonna crack through it. That, that to me is uh, not bullish at all. I know the 50 period moving average is down here and there's the 500, but that means nothing without price. So, um, you know, if, if we're thinking, well, price could come down and find support, okay, let it come down, but let it find support, and the way it's proved is with price action. So uh, until that happens, that's nothing but the 50-period moving average and nothing but the 500-period moving average. Diamonds are doing pretty well overall. I mean, they're nice and bullish looking a little bit toppy but if you're looking at a bullish trend and you look a little toppy that's that's opportunity for a long swing trader because what you want is a little light pullback and then you're looking for the buyers to step in and that sets us up for that j hook we've been talking about that a little bit late, lately so a little bit of a pullback let's see if that's going to be a bullish pullback or are we going to end up crashing Probably not going to know too much till later this afternoon. Um, boy, did I can't even remember if I flagged. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do it this way. Let's, um, yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, take a look at Telray today. Uh, Telray is rocking. So here's. What I'm going to do with Telray, I'm not in Telray. I don't know of anybody that's in Telray. Uh, so the, the, the way I see this being handled is let it open up. Don't chase it. The thing's already up too much. Uh, I, I just don't believe 
you know any kind of trading on this today is worthwhile unless you're already there so let this thing open up we'll keep an eye on it and then watch it over the next through day next three or four days for an opportunity to buy but we'll definitely be keeping an eye on Telray. um fi uh finv here is also continuing its trend nice bullish trend here so we might take a look at that we're just now at that breakout point so if we're looking to trade it you know look through here for your stop i would probably myself consider about 50 percent of yesterday's black candle in that neighborhood anything above that i would be good to go anything below not so much now remember i'm going to be watching the market and the market might not be acting so good so that's a definite no for a buy i'll be watching t2123 and yesterday we closed below the 15 minute trendicator while the 60 minute still closed above that spells chop can you see it chop it's right there it just spells chop that is not where i want to be in trading so this would stop me from buying any one of those longs that we just looked at let's see what else is there and just because i won't buy a long it doesn't mean that i'm going to buy short the market is not short yet so i will not buy short yet uh, boeing is doing a good job boeing is coming right up here and rechallenging these tops let's take a look at that weekly chart i think man look at that look at the upside potential here i see uh, I see about a 20 percent yeah 20 or so percent uh, upside potential on a positive breakout here and then just use your normal trading tools okay uh, what else do we have oh spot well spot got hammered last night right yeah spot got hammered so here's all the buy bounce buyers stepping in uh, good luck to them uh, that's a that's a whole different trading strategy for some it works for some it doesn't i'd probably let it settle down as it rolls up a little bit if it does then maybe prime shorting material there absolute prime shorting material um let's check uh otis here um otis a little bit toppy we're getting a little bearish right now let's see what else we have over here that um crone going along with telray is trying to move up pre-market we've got a belt hold and a bullish engulf uh setting up i think this needs a lot more uh, positive trading before i could buy that long um let's see merc Merck, uh, we're still in a big downtrend on Merck. Merck has rallied up. If it shows weakness from this level right now, from this 107.40 level, that would be a short, just a continuation to the downside. Uh, let's do this, you know, just in, to see how that might be starting to work to the downside there. So we'll, we'll mark, I think I need to mark. Well, it's already, it's where I got it, was on the watch list. So uh, Merck might be setting up short so if the market if the cues start to roll over a chart that uh, a lot of traders like i like this one is to trade sqqq it's trading long but what you're doing is you're betting on the short you're betting on the cues moving down um, the advantage to this if there's the way i see an advantage is the price is seventeen dollars and seventy five cents um versus three hundred and seventy seven so if you if you can't you know some people can't afford to trade that one way to look at it is to trade long the sqqq um, that's definitely one i'm going to be looking at um i i'm going to take a look at iwm here it's still setting up if it starts to fail a good one to look at is tza that's iwm's opposite there there's a big well 2335 let's see what iwm is yeah there's you know 200 dollars stock so some of those inverse could work out uh pretty 
pretty well. Um, SARK uh, is setting up right now. Um, this is another one of those uh, short ETFs. Uh, and here you've got a nice little doji gap up. So far, a pretty good chart pattern. I'd need it to come up just a little bit more and then give me a little pullback. But it is get, trying to get there. Either way you look at it, I think the bottom line today is, um, for me, I'll be exerting some patience, uh, looking at lots of charts, but exerting patience and just getting a feel um, after the whole Fed meeting, how the market is going to read that. Yeah, so. All right, everyone. Uh, you guys take care. We'll see you in about a half an hour, the bottom of the hour when the market opens up. Please have a wonderful, wonderful, great day, okay? Take care.